free, set them free. Okay. The calendar says it's time for the 13 nights of Halloween. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the 13 nights of Halloween. I'm Big Anklevich. And I'm Rich Outfield. And are you scared? Not scared enough. I know what hunts you. Are uh, you who's... scared? Well, that's just fine. That's right. Um, okay, I wanted to talk about uh, one other thing. I'm going to roll up your window since that... Oh. You can't. Since that sweepy car is driving around. That car hates us. It's Halloween related, but again, it's not a scary subject. I'm sorry, I'm not a scary dude, I guess. Take your shirt off. Yeah, that would scare the entire freaking block away. But uh, I've noticed recently when people decorate their homes for Halloween that they're doing different things than they used to. Several houses on my block, including the house right across the street from me, has what are basically Christmas lights up on their house. Um, and I guess because the lights are orange, they're supposed to be now Halloween lights. Have you noticed this, Rish? No, but I don't live... Well, I was going to say I don't live in the suburbs like you do, but I suppose I do. I don't know. I think ours was the first house to get decorated for Halloween this year. Uh-huh. Because it's, the weather was really nice. It was like the 1st of October. And I was like, okay, time to make the donuts. And uh, but I, I've... I'm sorry. Tell me again. You don't like that people do orange Christmas lights? or <laughs> Well, it just doesn't seem right to me because it's Christmas lights. Um, it's a Christmas decoration. It's a decoration that is synonymous with Christmas. Christmas lights uh, are, are a thing. Halloween lights are not a thing, but people are, I guess, trying to make them a thing. I don't know what the deal okay, is. Okay, so yes, yes, I, there are houses that have orange and white lights up. Or orange and purple lights up, I've yeah, seen. Yeah, I've seen orange. Maybe and they're supposed to be purple. They look like they're pink to, to my colorblind eyes, I guess. But, yeah, it didn't occur to me that this was a travesty in some way. <laughs> um, maybe it's just because uh, I'm a traditionalist. I don't know. Another thing that I saw somebody was saying the other day was that they now put stockings <laughs> out on Halloween for Jack Skellington, the Pumpkin King, to put candy in for them. All right, well, I'm going to have to call... I, I'm not going to call bullshit on this. I'm going to call fucking bullshit. <laughs> I mean, that just... That makes me want to kill. <laughs> Jack Skellington has been around for 21 years, all right? Uh-huh. Just Oh, jeez, man. Come on. So people... Okay. So what? So he fills the stockings... Of, Jack Skellington doesn't come to your house on Halloween. Jack Skellington comes to your house on Christmas. <laughs> so maybe it's just Nightmare Before Christmas's uh, steadily growing influence that is causing people to add Christmas-type things to Halloween. I don't know what the deal is. It just It seems really weird to mix the two. I know that Retailers are tr just trying to sell things. Any idea they can come up with, they'll try. Pumpkin spice stockings. Yeah. Those are really hot when you put them on with the pumpkins. And, and the pumpkin spice uh, garter belts, too. <laughs> those are really nice. But anyways, <laughs> that's aside the, from the point. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that upsets you like it upsets me. But for some reason, it, it, it's I think it sucks. <laughs> I hate it. I don't know. I mean, there's so many things that you could do to decorate your home for Halloween. You could do a simple thing, you know, just put some pumpkins and something little. Or you, if you wanted to go bigger, instead of putting Christmas lights on your house, you know, you could do something bigger. You know, make a, a witch that, like, f hangs from the tree or... 
when I was a kid, my mom actually got a pulley system set up with the neighbor across the street and she made a witch that would go across the street to the neighbor's house and come back across the street again uh, all night long, which was awesome. But uh, putting up Christmas lights and stockings and crap like that just seems really wrong. I mean, I think Jack Skellington himself learned that you don't mix the two holidays. He learned that it just didn't work. They needed to stay separate. and Separate yeah. but equal. Yes. Sorry. And he was happy. He was much happier once he... You know, knew his place. Once he tried the, the Christmas thing and then realized that it wasn't right, that he wasn't that. Did you do anything to decorate your house for Halloween this year? We did do a little bit. Um... We're, we've gotten lazy, I have to admit. We have a bunch of Halloween decorations, and last year we didn't put anything up at all. We'd only been moved into the house for all of a month or less when that time came to, to so decorate. So it was all packed away? Or? And so we were really just like, nah, I don't feel like it. This year, uh, my daughter did complain enough that she got us to get out the decorations and actually do them. And we put like a big spider web thing over the front porch and, and my wife got a bunch of little plastic spiders to stick into it and stuff. Cool. And now it's fun. The kids think that's really cool, especially the two-year-old really likes it. And it was funny to hear him. You know, we had it before we even put it out. He, he was telling me about that we we're going to put it on the porch and it's going to be spooky. <laughs> it was the first time I've heard him, I'd heard him use the word spooky. I thought that was pretty funny. But yeah, we put that, and we've got some, some other random decorations that have gone up on the shelves and stuff of our entertainment center and things, so it's not awesome. It's not, you know, there's not a lot to it, but at least there's something. Do you have letters that say, be evil? Um, no, that's to come. Mm. That's a Christmas decoration. You don't mix the two holidays. <laughs> we have ones that say, ghost. But it's it's G H and then a little ghost figure and S T and I always like to take those and mix them around so it goes S H and the ghost figure <laughs> T. I used to do that at your house all the time and I'd hide the uh, yeah you just the, put the uh, other the one G behind. behind. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's been a while since I've done that. I love to mess with the stupid decorations that spell out words. <laughs> your wife has all of these like Martha Stewart. <laughs> t twisted things that you know just, uh, yes. Pinterest crap yes Pinterest stuff I, I saw somewhere the other day where they said that like 25% of the people in the country when they go to figure out what to be for Halloween look on Pinterest that can't be 25% of the country can't even know what Pinterest is <laughs> I mean, sorry 75% it's fun to do decorations. The, the, one of the cool things is my, my wife has this tendency to get tired of decorations or something. She uses something for a while, but after like three or four years, all of a sudden she's like, nah, I don't like that anymore. That's tacky or, uh, you know, that's, that's not awesome anymore. And she doesn't want to put it up. And so this time around, my daughter, who really wanted us to get out the decorations in the first place, all the stuff that my wife's like, nah, we're not putting that up. She's like, well, then I'm putting it in my room. And she has decorated her room probably more than the rest of the house is decorated. She's got all sorts of stuff in her room that my wife had s s declared to be uh, past its prime, I guess. I don't know. Did your wife ever declare the damned spirit of Christmas plate past its prime? No, that's it, it remains... It makes no sense. Man. I don't know when uh, it will finally be past its prime, but I bet its day will come. And then we can really break it. <laughs> we will. All right. So, I guess in conclusion, you don't like mixing of holidays, but you don't see it as something that's actually happening. I guess it... Well, I, I don't know. Like, my cousin decorated his house for the first time ever for Halloween because they didn't have Halloween growing up. It was created by the same guy who inspired ACDC music. 
So what he did was he bought four orange light bulbs and put them on all the porch lights. Oh my gosh. And so now it's when he turns it on, it's orange. That is so rad. It's baby steps, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's the there's this house. I'm trying to remember where it is. Somewhere near my house anyways. There's a house there's one house that does this at Christmas time, a different house that does it at Halloween time. Where they just have, you know those those things where you like have to put the air compressor or whatever on it to f blow it up, inflate it, and it like runs all night? Yeah, we've got three of those. Inflating the thing. I, buy, I used to buy one every year after Halloween when they were on clearance. Oh, yeah. So. This house has like 20 of them. <laughs> they have, there. you can't, like there's no empty lawn space in front of the house because it's just covered with them. And it's funny because they they live in a, an area because where I live is relatively new development, and up where this house is, they're like the only house there. So at Halloween, they're lucky to get anybody to even come up there. You know what I mean? To to go trick or treating because you'd have to walk like all this way just to go to the one house and then turn around and walk all the way back. So they better have like the full size candy bars, or screw them. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess they make up for it by having the, the full on experience of having, you know, all the tons of the blow up things. And yeah, I remember going there last year and they also, they had like, you know, the music playing and I don't know if the music was actually part of one of these blow up things or not. Cause some of them have all sorts of moving parts and et cetera. Uh, so maybe it was part of that or maybe they just had it playing out their window. I don't know. Yeah, there's another house that does it at Christmas time. They have like 20 of them. Their whole lawn's taken up by them. It's like Frosty here and Rudolph there and everybody all jumbled together. Yeah, that's one of those things that, that I haven't done yet. But I was thinking now that my kids are getting older and they're going to be like too cool to like go trick-or-treating or something. Maybe we should try and be like the scary house. And we could like get the smoke machine and get the, I don't know, the other stuff. Have one of us dress up as a stuffy man. Dress up as a scarecrow and sit in the chair at the front of the house and then when people come and then they ring on the doorbell and you go, Bah! That happened to me once when I was a kid. Somebody was doing that and they were sitting in the chair and it scared the f*** out of me. <laughs> oh my gosh, I crapped my pants and I had to go home and change into a whole different costume because it had shit all over it. It was awful. Are you lying? You've yes, never crapped I'm your lying. pants in your life. My pants, but yeah, I, I, oh my gosh, I was scared so bad by this freaking <laughs> scarecrow that jumped out at me at the, when I rang the doorbell. Oh, I might have peed a little. That's, well, see, that would be really neat, the... To be the scary house. And yeah, when I was a kid growing up, I, I wanted us to have the scary house. And so I would always have like a cassette that had, you know, scary music or whatever. And you put it out there. And I was know. thinking of just using that song that Sunny C used for the uh, short, short life and slow death of Timmy Van Lowe background music. Oh my gosh, was that scary music? It was. Just have that playing out the window. And that creepy whispering? Yeah. Remember that? I, I don't think there was any whispering, but there was music. I don't know what you're talking about. The music would be really creepy, and uh, it would probably keep anybody from actually coming to the house, unfortunately. Which, that's the one thing that you have to worry about if you're the scary house, is, is anybody going to show up? And if they do show up, are you going to send kids away crying? Because you don't want to go that far. <laughs> I do. I don't know. I do. <laughs> Several years would go and, you know, like meet my mom and the nephews and that and take them trick-or-treating or, or take my niece or whatever. And uh, well, there was one year where I, I manned the door and handed out the candy. And, and then once the candy was gone, I, you know, I asked my mom, well, hey, what do I do? She's like, just put a note on the door that uh, the candy is gone and, and people will go away. And so I did. I wrote, you know, hey, no more candy. Sorry. And people would bang on the door. And I'd be like, hey, there's no more candy. 
And he invariably it would be like some 14 or 15 year old Mexican kid who had no business trick or treating anyway. But all night, you know, at 1130 or whatever, just this banging of, you know, it's like, oh, give me my candy, my God given right for candy. And I just feel like, what? Okay. No little kid would be doing this, you know. You go to the door and it's a naked man. <laughs> but, you know, after that happened like that one, I was just like, kids, they, they would ring the door well there, or pound, or they would kick the door when they saw this sign. And it's like, I'm never, F those kids. Why would I buy candy ever again? So see, when you said, well, it would be the scary house, nobody will come. I thought, Yeah. Yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> All you gotta do is turn your porch light off. Well, it didn't stop these kids. You turn your porch light off and make it look like there's nobody home and they won't come knocking. You can hear them. They're looking in their windows like that. One of them's watching TV. You're lucky they didn't, uh, when they saw the sign, didn't start egging your house because that's what you're supposed to do to a house that has no candy. That's the traditional Again, response. that's f bullshit these guys robbed me of the candy that i bought and then they have the temerity to try and punish me after i was robbed <laughs> it's the traditional response i'm sorry it's just as traditional as making a jack-o-lantern or uh having a pumpkin spice latte it's all tradition it's just as traditional as jack skellington <laughs> filling your your sock with filling your your satchel filling your Scrotum? What is it that he fills? Uh, stock. Filling your stocking with skele with Jack Skellington droppings. <laughs> Filling your sock with heads. That's right. With severed heads. Is there a foot still in it? I, I think we should move on, man. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for listening to today's episode, everybody. And uh, we'll be back again tomorrow with more 13 Nights of Halloween. No more, no more. <clears throat> you know what gets my goat? That this show is produced under your Creative Commons 3.0 license. Why would you bother? <laughs>